This needs a requel by deleting three from the canon and topping off the trilogy properly. Well, from what I've heard about people being unhappy with the, the third game, I will have to agree with you. Well, I don't know what the hell Star Wars needs, then. It doesn't need a mercy kill, they just never need to do a film again. Honestly, my opinion when it comes to Star Wars at this point is that it is what for functioning so much better as serialized TV shows in any form, animation, live action, these, you've, these new anime ones that have been announced, this like anthology of uh, Star Wars visions, I'm interested in that, even if it's not canon. I'll watch it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think the movies worry too much about having to be an event film, which means we have to play it super fucking safe because they only come out once every two years and we need it to be a Star Wars movie, so check all the boxes, you know what I mean? They don't do anything safe. Uh, so they don't do anything that original. Uh, and then the things they do do original are like The Last Jedi, which I think was, I don't know. It was original, and to be honest, I will say, even though I'm not a fan of that movie, it was the best of the three. <laughs> just I mean, almost by default, but just by being, you know, something worth I mean, I talking think about. Was his best as a game, but like... I mean, actually, like... I'll throw ga games work in there as well, the same way that TV shows and everything else fuck, does. Um... Side stories in the universe. It's such a big universe. It doesn't need to be about the fucking Skywalkers all the goddamn time. That's how you get Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> That's how you get your actually a... I don't know. I just realized Bryn hasn't actually seen the movie yet, so uh, I won't say it. But oh, for the love of Pete, the movies make the universe seem so small. Um, at least I'm talking about the mainline movies. Like I would say I like Rogue One and. I appreciate what Solo tried to do, even if I didn't like it. But I think they're just too big. They're just far too expensive to do, like... I don't know, every couple of years we're going to do a full feature-length movie. Because if it hits, it hits. If it misses, it misses. Whereas an individual episode of a TV show, you can miss one in, one in a while, you know what I mean? Perfectly accurate. The Star Wars universe is most enjoyable when you can explore it without the unprecedented stakes being involved, yeah. Yeah, I loved The Mandalorian, but haven't got around to seeing the other series yet. We're just saying, like, Star Wars movies fo focus too much on being, like, big spectacle, you know, tentpole movies, which feel like they kind of need to check a lot of boxes for what is a Star Wars movie. You must have galaxy-saving stakes. You must have super weapons. You must have Skywalkers. TV shows don't need to do that. TV shows can just explore any aspect of the universe. Like, I'll take I'll take a fucking Star Wars TV show about, like, a cab driver on Coruscant or something. You know what I mean? I'll take I'll take a, a Star Wars TV show about, like, gambling. <laughs> you know, like, gamblers or something. I know, like, that's maybe too much, like, that Last Jedi casino nobody liked. But, you know, ignoring that, like, a New Vegas-style casino heist <laughs> Star Wars movie uh, TV show. I'll watch that. At least an episode. Foreign gambling addiction. Yeah. And you can experiment more. They don't experiment with the movies. Because they have to play it safe. Because they only come out once every two years. And this cost a billion dollars. You know what I mean? Uh, Bryn says, I think one plot I would consider for an alternative to sequel films. Would be using a crime organisation that somehow got inside the New Republic as the main villain. Hell, tell you what Bryn. That's actually not too far off what George Lucas's idea for a sequel movie. A sequel trilogy already was, which was to use Darth Maul as a crime boss, like he is in, you know, or was set up to be in The Clone Wars, as, like, the main villain, or at least a main villain. I don't think I've seen the last one, and the new ones I can barely remember, but the old ones are stuck. I almost appreciate The Rise of Skywalker, the last of the, the sequel trilogy. I almost appreciate it, because it was so bad and so clearly, nobody involved gave a fuck that it's kind of... I feel like I've been let off the hook for having to consider the, that trilogy, like, canon or worth a damn in any way. You know what I mean? Like, if nobody involved yeah. cared, I no longer have to. And it's almost refreshing now. That's where I've come to stand now on the sequel trilogy. I don't feel anger. I feel like a zen... Detachment from it. Like, it exists. 
It exists as much as like any furry fan fiction Star Wars edition <laughs> exists. Like the way I was kind of describing this to somebody else was like the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I love the Lord of the Rings, everything about it, you know. And I, I those movies they were so well made and with such love and like they hit the landing, they hit the setup, they hit the middle, good all the way through. They could announce now that like um, Michael Bay has gotten the rights to the Tolkien estate and he is going to make his own vision for a sequel, for a sequel trilogy taking place after the events and it's going to involve a new character called Michael May who um, discovers that the ring wasn't actually destroyed and that he is now going to take it upon himself to save the world because he's better than Frodo and everybody else um, and also he's going to have a fist fight with Sauron who turns out never actually died. Uh, somehow Sauron has returned, you know. Uh, whatever. A complete hokey trash movie. A movie like that comes out, you cannot really say, at least I don't feel like that would ruin the original trilogy for me in any way because it's so bad, it's so fucking off the wall trash that you could just write it off. You don't even have to think about it anymore. Compare that to somebody like coming along and being like, this is the actual like Tolkien vision, we, we found some books that he had written but unpublished and we're going to make a movie out of it. And it's just kind of bad. It's just kind of shit. That would be more of a disappointment than a movie that's just so bad that you don't have to give a fuck about it anymore. That's how I feel about The Last, uh, the last Jedi, the, the Rise of Skywalker. Long tangent, I know, but <laughs> whatever. Something, something, the sequel. Yes. What's that? I hope Disney gains a mere modicum of sanity and declares the sequels non-canon. They'll never do that because they'll feel like it's admitting defeat. Or they'll get accused of, like, kowtowing to, like, the entitled fanboys or something, you know? Like, the people who just don't like it because Ray's a woman. You're giving in to the misogynists or something. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They're probably just going to, like, quietly stop mentioning it. Because it has its fans. And you know what? I don't want to, like... I don't want to take away something which people do enjoy. You know what I mean? Let them enjoy it. Even if I'll just happily ignore it. Mordor returns under the banner of the first Orkdur, and Sam's kids have to travel east to find Frodo, who has become a bitter old man. The ring is also back, but that's a good story for another time. 